This is the fourth and last narrated presentation for Biology 101, Module 6. Let's get started. In this portion of the module, pedigrees are discussed and how they are used to determine the inheritance pattern of a particular trait is also discussed. Pedigrees are generational maps used to trace the inheritance patterns of different traits. Squares represent males. Circles represent females. Horizontal lines denote mates. And vertical lines represent offspring. Darkened symbols represent affected individuals, while partially shaded symbols represent carriers. Pedigrees map the patterns of genetic disorder, so analyzing several generations can use laws of genetics to determine the probability of a genetic disorder in an offspring. Genetic disorders can, auto, can be autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, or sex-linked, which means the loci is located on the X chromosome. This is an example of a pedigree where two non-carrier parents have three males and one female. This pedigree depicts the pattern of inheritance of an autosomal dominant genetic disorder. Notice the parents of all infected individuals had at least one parent that expressed the traits. Autosomal dominant genetic disorders cannot skip generations. This is an example of a pedigree of a family with autosomal recessive disorder. Note that there are not as many members of the family with the disease as in the dominant example we just saw. However, there are many members of the family who are carriers of the mutant gene. This is an example of a pedigree of a family with a sex-linked disorder. Sex-linked disorders are easy to spot in a pedigree due to the fact that there are more males with the disorder than females. Notice that the only carriers are females. This is a review of pedigree analysis, which may be used to determine if a trait is autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, or sex-linked.